Hello. Uh, I've had a question about exporting uh, images of results, distributions, displacements, uh, stresses, strains, the color plots. And um, I was just going to show how that's done and also provide a few tips of how to let's say beautify things if you're not happy with it. So I've opened up uh, the first example from the examples collection and I'm just going to run the first stage here. And then let's plot say the displacement. So if I if I want this image out there's sort of several possibilities for, for getting that image out. One possibility, the most obvious one, is to simply press the button Add to Report and uh, say OK. And then when I create the report, I can go into the individual stages here and I can see that this image has been added to the report. And when I then generate the report, um, that will be um, part of the uh, report, part of the, the Word file. I'm not going to do that just yet. There have been some questions as well about the grid lines. You may be able to see very faintly here that there are grid lines included in the figure. If you don't want those grid lines included, you simply turn off the grid and then uh, add this figure to the report. Say OK. And then when you create the report again, there are now two images, the first one with grid and the second one without grid. And I think we should try to generate that report and save it. And I am going to save it as test report. And close that down again. And uh, let's open this test report. So the images that I am interested in is first of all this one here. And um, you can you can copy um, that and and of course paste it into a new with the mouse, paste it into a new Word document, your own uh, report, or you can, you can modify the report that's been generated. So this image here contains grid lines. That was the first image we added. The second one here, where we have turned the grid lines off, um, contains no grid lines. So um, that's really uh, how that is. Now, if you're not completely happy with this figure, it is of course possible to edit it. And I will copy that and then I'll start up program Paint, which is part of any Windows distribution. I'll just move myself here. And uh, then you can of course crop, um, you can crop the images. You can, for example, move if you want the color bar a bit closer, you can do it like that. Um, so you might even want to shrink the color bar a little bit. You have to be careful that's done proportionally. That wasn't exactly proportional. It's something like that. So paint is one possibility, but it's it's really not ideal. Uh, I think I'll just keep it the same size. I would recommend something like Adobe Illustrator. Uh, and you can then, uh, to get rid of the space around this, you can mark it and then copy it. And then you can, I don't have to, but I'm just going to open a new paint document and then, and then somehow like that, and you can then save that as a, as as anything you want, say as a PNG, for example. Um, let me save it in 
documents and test e image and here it is and that's how it looks and that can of course be added to uh, any report as well now sometimes what i do myself is i i use a combination of the report and the snipping tool so i first copy the image using the snipping tool say like that and uh, copy that and then paste that into paint and then i can add annotations i can do whatever i want um, now i usually don't want a, a gray background i'll usually want a white background so i'm going to change the ca canvas color to white and then the lines, um, the edges, that's this one here. I might change that to some kind of dark gray color. So this is a way of really controlling in a much better way um, the, the, the colors. And I might also do something with the grid lines. I should say the colors, there are two sets of colors. There's what is uh, it's under medium here, screen, and then report. So the screen is, is the colors you see here on the screen, and the report colors are uh, the colors in the, in the report. So um, that's how that is. And, but let's just stick with the screen. So it is possible to also modify or to co have complete control of the colors that will appear in the report. But if I just want to go for this snipping tool option, um, and then the, the question with the grid, because you can see the opacity here is set to 25% by default. There's no way of, of changing that. We might change it in the future, but, but at present there's no way of changing it. You can make it a bit darker if you turn it completely to, to, to black. Um, that's the darkest you can get. And you can then copy this say if I wanted something like that and, and they appear fairly prominently I'd say in this image and if we wanted to we could also go back to the report and um, well we could actually what we could do is simply just to to cut the cut the color bar out here, copy paste and add that into the report. And they are the same problems with, I think we could, can actually scale that. Resize, yeah. So if we say 135, probably something like that. Um, maybe that was a bit too much, but, but you can play around with that. And then finally, finally adjust the size and then save that as a PNG as well. And what did we call it? We called it, called it test image two. And then that looks oh, like this so um that's that's the possibilities there are um, usually sort of beautifying these figures does require a bit of of work but um, anything is really possible and there is of course always the possibility i should say of actually exporting the results so exporting these um, results here so you you have uh, triangles and a value uh, and then you can you can plot you have full control you can plot um, the results in any program that you want MATLAB or or whatever so um, that's how this works see you bye